Hey everybody, it's Shivi, and today we have a new community challenge going until May 31st where we have the chance to earn five free items together. But let's start this off right now with the first free item that you can get to help you get kickstarted on this challenge. You can go to settings, help, and then type in Dreamlight Park and you will unlock a set of magical recyclers which will help you as we move through this challenge. Using mostly items from our star path as well as a couple other, we can use them to unlock items. And they're also running a sweepstakes which I'll cover at the end of this video. Once we collectively as a community place 300,000 magical balloon bundles, we will unlock a crafted balloon decor pack. At 350,000 magical recyclers like the one you just got for free, or you can also use rusted trash cans, which are available in Scrooge's store and are in the Wally collection. 350,000 of those, and we will get a crafted road and fencing pack. At 400,000 topiaries, you can use either the Dreamlight Figment topiary from the Star Path or the Jubilant topiary, which you can actually make at your crafting table. We will unlock a flower pack. Once we unlock 450,000 of the new Goofy or Donald Dream styles available in the Star Path, we'll get an Iron and Dark Wood pack. And lastly, when we place 600,000 of any of the three new attractions in the Star Path, so Dumbo the Flying Elephant, Mad Tea Party, or the Pixar Pal Around, we will receive Mystery Disney Parks item. I am so curious and excited to see what this is, so I really hope we can smash this challenge, guys. Multiple items that you place do count. It is not capped at one or anything. You could place as many as whatever you want. And don't forget, once you unlock something, you can actually go straight to Scrooge and order more of them. Only eligible items will count. So here is a little graph showing what is eligible as well as the achievement names. And the rewards will be going to our little mailboxes in game as we unlock them. There's two ways to go about this. You can either just place your stuff down when you get it out of your star path or if you wanna spam as many as possible, if you wanna go, you have a bunch of coins, let's say, and you wanna buy a bunch for us to help boost us in the goal, you could totally just spam them around your valley. Or you could actually build a super sick theme park and there's a benefit to that as well. And you can put whatever you want in it, you just need to have these certain items, especially for the sweepstakes. So if you want to build a cool theme park, you can take pictures of it. And if you share it to either Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter using the hashtags, hashtag dreamlight park and hashtag disney dreamlight valley you could win a 500 dollars shop disney gift card i'm putting the link to both the article i got this information from and the actual gleam for more information on the sweepstakes but that pretty much covers it the only requirements is that you have one attraction ample trash cans so probably just a few little trash cans Disney parks are famous for their topiaries, so you need to have a few leafy decorations. You need to unlock at least one of the two dream styles for Donald or Goofy and plenty of the park balloons from the star path. That's all they said as far as that. So I would just assume as long as you meet the minimum of those requirements and you have a cool park and take a picture, you could totally win. If I were you, I would share it to all three socials, but if you don't have a social, it's fine to just do one. You could always follow me while you're there. Not like I have links to my socials in the description of this video or anything. Okay, anyway, so too long didn't read, unlock the items in the star path and at least place them down once to help us with this community challenge. And you'll be seeing free stuff coming to your mailbox. All that you really need to do is claim the code at the beginning of the video, grind your little star path. Again, we have all the way until May 31st, so you don't need to be rushing yourself really, but the faster we can get these items, I mean, I am a little excited, so. I'm hoping they'll be tweeting out some sort of update. I wish there was like a live tracker of the community challenge progress, but unfortunately there isn't but I'm hoping they'll at least tweet like, we're at this many of this, keep going. So we kind of know how badly we need to be placing multiple or if we got it already. But I'm super excited for this. I hope you guys are too. I think I covered everything in this video, but you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Myself or other nerds will probably answer you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like if you did. And if you're excited about this challenge like I am, I think this is super cool. Make sure to subscribe if you're new so you don't miss everything Disney Dream Life Valley. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.